It's a nice job. So again, it's trying to make it simple. So it'll be blue. You could, if the red light comes on for blue, go check the blue compressor. There's instructions on there to start it up and to check it too. So as you can see in the picture, they're right on the side. Okay, nice job, guys. Appreciate it. Um, I apologize. Let's give another hand because I don't think I have time. Good job. All right, nice job. All right. So talking about Lancaster. When Lancaster obtained the patents, again, we're talking about the stretch wrapping machine. For his concepts at the beginning of the 1970s, they were so general and broad that he could easily fend off competitors for years. All he needed was a market. This was supplied by the world energy crisis in 1973, which unfolded just as he completed his first handmade stretch wrapping machine. As energy prices zoomed, the amount of processed energy and plastic, which his new technique could save, created an overwhelming advantage for stretch wrapping in the contest with the traditional shrink wrapping. Suddenly he had a real business and needed to think about how to make his product in volume. He had created his initial design and his first machine in continuous flow of activities. So Lantech, like most startup businesses, was born lean. However, it didn't seem plausible to run an established business this way. In reconstructing his thought process during the transitions from startup to establish his, into his established firm, Lancaster recollect, recollects that I had no production experience. Remember, I was an inventor, so I decided I should take myself, I should get myself an experienced operations manager. What's more, I knew I would need an engineer, a variety of configurations of my basic concept for different wrapping techs. So I got an engineering manager. Finally had a complex product which needed explanation to the customers, so I got a sales manager. I knew instinctively about the division of labor and returns to scale. So it seemed natural that my operations, sales, and engineering managers should organize my rapidly growing firm into a series of departments, which each, each with a specialized task and each operating in batch mode. The operation managers created a series of departments in the manufacturing plant one for each of the basic steps in building Lantech stretch wrapper. The sawing department used metal saws to fashion frame members from steel beams. The machining department drilled and punched holes in the steel to create attached points and component systems. The welding department welded the frame members together and completed the frame for the machine. And the painting department applied the corrosion inhibited base coat and cosmetic finish coat to the completed frame. Component systems, notably the roll carriage and the turntable and control module, were assembled in sub-assembly department from parts purchased from the suppliers. These were attached to the frame and final assembly department. All right, so obviously he started out as lean, right? Just because he would make them one at a time to finish it. Then all of a sudden he thought, to do volume, we got to break it up into departments. So we'll talk about their transition after that. 